Hey everyone, welcome back to the Talos Principle 2, which is this massive puzzle game. Uh, it's really quite beautiful. There's a lot of areas, and we need to solve eight puzzles to get to that big tower. So it seems like this world is going to introduce a mechanic where we can rotate a platform. So that's fun. And I, I, why, what, are, what are these two? So it's like they're designed so we can jam them at some point. So at the very end of this puzzle, I'm going to need a green and a blue power. Or we'll just rotate this and try to find some more objects and places to go. I rotate this here and there's a connector. Uh, well, there's a converter. This converts uh, red and green to blue, green and blue to red. So it, it takes two colors and gives you the third. Nope. Nope. That's not where I wanted to rotate it. Okay, here we go. And here we have an inverter. This converts blue to red or red to blue. Okay. So with all these, what, what do we do? Well, it seems like it's the regular connector that wants to be here. I think. No. But there's a red on that side, isn't there? Why are connecting that to that? That doesn't feel right. What do you do? Hmm. Where do you get green from? I can do that. So that, no, that's red to red, that's useless. That's, this is all we have. Hmm. Let's, let's plan it from this side, maybe it's easier this way. Also, um, we only have one possible connection to make, I just realized. Uh, because we can't have both of these open at the same time, so it's either this side or, or that the other side. I think it's this one. So, red to can't see both from the same place. I can make red accessible. I can invert it. There we go, now blue's powered on. So if I connect red and blue together, I get green, and there we go, that's all the puzzle. Alright. We got a meta puzzle in this. I don't think I've ever successfully solved one of them. Thanks, Yaku. It really hid where puzzle two is, so I'm going here first. So this is three. Dismantling. So here, sit here with a box. Gee, elevator systems in my Talos principle. Like, they weren't happy enough with the fan mechanics, so now we're undoing the fan mechanic. There's a teleporter. Uh-huh. When does this become normal platformer video game? <laughs> okay, well... I guess what they're trying to go for is putting the teleporter there. But it doesn't actually work. Unless you hold it down the whole way. Maybe. Yep, okay. Yeah, but then you go right back. Awkward. <laughs> huh. Is there anything else to do? Like let's let's check around the, the bottom. Maybe there's like an item. I wouldn't put it past to loss principle. I mean you can just use the teleporter, put it down here. Okay, and now we should be able to do this much better. I mean, you can even just do this. I don't know if it's good, though, because something definitely seems wrong about going here. And Oh, never mind. We have a box. Okay, then we need to undo all the steps. Classic Talos. <laughs> because we need to go back there with the second box. Alright. That. We have a box from here. Telly. Okay, and now we do that other box. Are we going? Okay. And, and anyway, we do this. <clears throat> wait for the platform to get back. And wait a minute. Wait, is that a moving platform? Uh oh. Huh. Okay, I didn't consider that maybe there'd be a problem there. I don't know. Let's let's just do this. You can even teleport on through the side. You, know, so you need to actually look at it. Okay. So that platform moved from. Ah, uh, maybe there's something wrong with that actually. Okay, there might be an issue. Like, the fact that this moved, uh, that, the, what, what probably should have happened is the teleporter should have been on there. But I didn't set it up that way of, because I've sucked, so I really need to do something else, actually. It goes on there, this goes here, okay. So now what? Do I just go back? 
checking this out. Now what I think it should do is move it such that this teleporter is on this platform. That I think is what I missed. Wait. Oh, the box. Oh, never mind the box. I, I did leave the box down here. Wait, I can probably crush myself actually. Uh, let's not do that just yet though. Okay, so now I move this over and I move the box such, such that it moved this platform. Now I'm here. Now I win. There we go. Very nice. I spotted the lab with the drone, sending you the coordinates. Right. Oh, hey, there you go. Okay, they didn't kill me. All right, we're, we're very good. We got really resilient head after all. There's another meta puzzle thing. Ah, for... okay, it's a wheel, but I know it's a receiver now, so I need a red laser shining in there to get this meta puzzle. Well, it's time for puzzle four, which is for some reason even closer to the entry than puzzle three was. So blue. Except if I hold this down, I can make blue appear. Uh, I can access the blue source and open this door. Another connector. This is a rotating thing. Which means that it, the rotation will break and then it'll stop. <laughs> and then it'll turn back on again. So we got some alter your business. Kind of red as well. But put it on there. This, yeah, it gets locked, so... Well, we, well, we want to access that one, so... Maybe I get rid of the... Well, that kind of feels bad, too, because then I lose my access to here. Hmm. Alright, well, well, we'll do the janky alternator stuff. Is there anything here? No, it's just the exit. The exit is... The goal is to get blue and to have something on there. So if I do this, I'm able to get out from the rotating little door here. And I wonder if it's enough for me to do this. Or maybe won't, it's not enough time, I don't know. Oh, okay. It intentionally takes a long time to open this door. Much longer than normal. So, it's intended for you to try to... get to this a different way. But how? Okay, so we need to open... Oh, I do that, right? Also, we got a drill in the over there. There we go. That works out. And that only does one quarter rotation, so that stays like that. Okay. Okay. But now what? We have a driller. Is that all? I guess that's... must be all. This feels like the place for the driller, doesn't it? You put that on, and then you try to get blue to connect. Alright, so, I think this is no longer necessary. Which means that now we can get blue to connect to there. Ah, freaking... This is a little annoying. Um, so we can get the loops to connect here, but this laser has a, has a problem connecting to here. So what I need to do is do this and quickly... Ah. Uh, okay, something that was a little stupid, what just happened. Okay, we're gonna need to reset the thing that's going on with red, I believe. But now with red, we no longer turn on... Uh, the far gate. That gate no longer, we, we don't care about it anymore, we only turn it on to get the uh, driller behind, so... Now we can just connect here to here. This is a problem. Like, the, the connector itself is blocking it there. Okay, got it. Alright, and now when I do this, the, the... The blue is no longer in the way. This isn't even the blue that we want to connect. But yet... Hmm. So, what? Is red on here, actually? That wouldn't make sense. Red is on this button. Okay, okay. Solve. It's solved. Red is the thing that's supposed to be going on this button right here. Then I block that. And we should be good to go. Now this is the line of sight to here. So now this blue is open. There we go. Thank you, Yuku. Got a few lore items here. This one is like... Ri being rich sucks. <laughs> it's in some ways. Part of the mind loss of ancient society. 
aka this society. It seems like money is wasted and thrown around. It's all a joke. It's a giant prank. <laughs> you don't exist. The founder doesn't exist. No video of the founder. Damn, the, the video must have been upgraded later. Reading ground for society. Love that you all suck Lamau is part of official video game. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, don't, don't air, don't air. Good. All right. Uh, and city, 25 people in the city of New Jerusalem. Very New York. Chess battle advanced. All right. This one seems to be corrupted. Yep. It's five three like five eight. Tried to delete it as you were downloading it. Pandora, maybe. I, okay, well, let's do puzzle two, right? This is puzzle two. All right, passive way. Not, not much else to do other than connect. Another blue and more rotating things. For some reason, I always rotate these platforms wrong. And lots of blockers. Okay. I mean, now I can go here and... That's red. That's red. What the heck? Okay, well... Let's do that and connect red to red. Giving us access to another connector. And now we can connect blue to blue. Pretty sure we can do such a thing. Ugh! Not where I wanted to go. Actually, it is interesting, though, that, like... Huh. Is this actually better? Can't we see blue through this and it's just better this way? Feels better this way. Okay, now I can rotate again. Oh wait, we don't have a straight line. Oh, oh. damn it! <laughs> I think this is gonna suck. We have a red. Ugh, dang it! We need the other connector. I'm sorry about that. So, as it turns out, we actually don't want this right now. We want it later, but not now. But I think from here we can do it. Maybe we have the blue connection and we can make it work. Alright. Okay, now we just do the thing I just did. make the turn here. We do, in fact, need red. And this will require two turns no matter what I do. It's like a Talos 1 at level puzzle, because I mean, it wasn't very hard. But there we go. Wait. Whoa! Okay, that is sick. That... So the rest of the puzzles are down, which, I mean, that, that feels very cheap. You, what the hell did you hit in the middle of the air for that to happen? So... We didn't need a less spell... Wow, Miranda and Athena really mastered non-solid objects. What about these? Let's use those to... No. So... Here is the final gate. We're supposed to get to this when we do eight puzzles, but with all the puzzles down there... We take the obvious... Thanks, Spaghetti Monster. What? So I just walked a little bit away from the island. There's a massive crater. There are entirely too many strange things going on around here. Okay. <laughs> this is a really collapsed lab. Oh, God. I yeah, find it hard to read this sort sort of text. All right, they turn Tyrus into dust or something. Yep. Sure. Ca what catastrophic failure? What the hell? Imagine we 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 do all this stuff and Miranda dead. I. I... All right, we want our worlds to have meaning. So let's let's give it a ton of meaning by intentionally overloading. All right, forced lore segment. It's over. We failed. 
Everything we thought we were doing. It's all ashes now. I don't think you really believe that. She's gone, Cornelius. She's gone because I failed her. She's gone because the machine that I built killed her. She was perfect. And now, she's nothing. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want her to be perfect, to be blameless. But you didn't kill her, Athena. She killed herself. She killed herself because she was reckless, because she was naive, and frankly, because she was a little arrogant, too. She was reckless because I filled her head with dreams. Dreams of the future, of a better world. A world that nobody wants. No, no, it's not the dreams that killed her. It's that we brought her here. It's that we tried to build all this outside the city. We raised her without people, without society. The wilderness is for prophets, Athena, not for children. We should have stayed, fought for our ideas. It's too late now. It's too late. Yeah, Miren's not alive anymore. Why did you leave in the first place, Lord Cornelius? I, um, yeah. They lost their daughter. Yep. Right here in this ruin, Cornelius and Athena lost their daughter. Miranda's dead. So even the founder doesn't have perfect control over this technology. What is the machine? Even the founder makes mistakes. Byron was right in a way. We turned the founder into something she never was. She was never perfect. She was never infallible. No one is. Listen, I understand why you and Byron see so much hope in this technology. You want us to be better, to grow. But what if it all goes wrong? If even the founder couldn't get it right, what hope do we have? We have much more people than the founder. Okay, but what about new mistakes? What about the problems we failed to predict? I can't even imagine the complexities behind this technology. Yeah, we don't even have any info about it at all. It's so abstract to us. The problem with this is that we don't know, we don't know any of the specifics of how they created anything. Um, Apparently, they created the mega structure, so they should have the most clue about what the hell it's doing. And yet, someone still died, so that's actually much more worrying. And also, the third thing is we know we're gonna make a third and fourth trip to the mega structure. The story demands it. So, I feel like in a realistic situation, they should have explored and uh, researched the technology much more slowly than they're doing in the game. But, and like, this is the most reasonable thing, but die. Let's just do it. Then we should really consider getting Byron out of there and then shutting the whole thing down. We're just not ready for it. Let this place be a tomb for Miranda. Sorry. A memorial. And we find a different path. Okay. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. Miranda probably died a long time ago, but somehow this really shook me. She had such a hopeful way of looking at the world, and to think that that's gone is... I don't know. All right. You're working now. Yeah. And Yakut. I'm sorry about Miranda. All right, here we go. This gets us access to the rest of the puzzles. Oh, come on, I walked to puzzle eight first. Well, that's never stopped me, huh? This is preliminary. That we know <laughs> it's 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 preliminary content. So therefore, it should come. Uh... Okay, explain why this is not easily win. Because now these required gate. Okay. Okay. That's actually an issue. Because for this, we would need an entire, like, setup so that the blue could be seen, and we don't have it. Okay, okay. Let's rotate this back so that we can access red. And of course, you can't do this connection because it, the wires across. 
Not that it would help anyway right now. Okay. And we got this to deal with too. It's surprisingly small, which is, I, I like that. We just saw a little interaction there where it cut the red, by the way. That's something that I remember seeing and using in customs. I'm not sure if it's going to be used in this game. Maybe we probably should do it. Also, doesn't this reach it? Like, this is kind of inside. It probably is going to hit the wall. Yeah. So, we have everything we should. I guess the one thing that we should think about is... In this position that we want, the red is outside. So, we should probably want red to connect. I don't know if that's just going to easily... Oh, no. Gosh, I don't know. We can do this. Then attempt to connect blue from here, too. Nope. Well, we, we would need the other connector to be in here if we wanted to get a connector inside this little spot here. Hmm. We could also decide to go all the way around with the red, which... Gives, which is much better for the blue situation. Unfortunately, though, it means that when I rotate this, it's of course going to go away. And no more red. Unless we try to get the red. Okay. For that to work, we need to see the red from this side and connect to it. It's actually possible, though. Damn, now I don't like that this is in here. Is it possible to see both blue? It is! Okay, that is very, very good. However, this means that the connector position sucks now. Uh, blue, come on. Okay, so, we don't want it locked. What do we do here? That's very awkward. Wait, maybe I like do that. Then rush in. And this red doesn't even want to be unlocked anyway. Like, there's still a problem, I think. Maybe I just turn it. And then use this. There you go. It's fine, and, and, and this actually rotated away, so it's all fine. All right, all right, there you go. Good ordering. Seven is here, above, all right. How, how above? Very above. And whatever, whatever I just did. How did that, oh, it goes on a, okay. Wasn't there something on there? That isn't. And I can go above her. All we seem to need is... Clearly not enough. I need something on here and something to power the blue. And what would that look like? I don't even see red right here. There's, yep, there is a button which allows... Oh, we should have gotten that one then. What the hell? Maybe I should have swapped with the connector. I don't know. There's actually... There's the red, actually. Driller. Where where's the driller thing? I don't see a drillable thing to be honest. I don't know if there's anything on, on the ground either. To do. Hmm. Take both objects, put them there. That whatever. Don't fall, don't fall. I was thinking of holding it down here. I mean, if the drill is useless, which I don't know if it is, then I'd put it there. And then I would need to connect that in the air. But no, I still don't see any driller things. What the hell? Let's see it. 
Oh, well, here's the driller thing. Hold on, I have three, all three objects in here too. Okay, and wow, that's very limited. What the hell? I need a huge vantage point. Okay, so what it seems like what it is is we do that. We have that situation, and then the connector, which the connector needs a box, then, doesn't it? How rude. So I need to so Okay. So before doing that, I do actually need to get an object back. That, that stays there, though. Er, you know what? Let's temporarily put the inverter. The reason is because the inverter is required. <laughs> Genuinely very annoying. We need another object down here to bring object up. That's why I'm using the inverter. Okay, so the connector is sacrificed here. It needs to see... Oh, it doesn't really see it. Okay, can it ever see it? Don't fall, God damn it! It actually still there's like a gate. Like... Specifically here. So even though it looks like you might be able to get it from above, it doesn't actually seem very feasible to. But if this is the idea, then something feels weird about why that's there. Let's take this thing. Okay. Right. So what's wrong with it? Like I guess you can't see the freaking connector from there, maybe. Is that the issue? That was very annoying and like had not much puzzle content in there. Wow, that one was a mind bender. That one was a real nose picker. What good quality of the movement add? Anyway, six displacement. Okay, we have an inverter, so it allows to see that. Of course, it doesn't go through this gate. We can't see it from that angle, so let's try that. It opens a gate, doesn't it? It opens a gate I cannot see from this angle. Hmm. What, what does it do, actually? Wait, we need both of them on? Oh my gosh. No, yeah, I have to hold this down first, right? I don't understand what else I could do with it. There's like a path back there. Uh, I mean, I definitely want that to be opened. Mars blue. It's almost like I want something back there. Is there no other item? That's pretty cursed. I can't do anything with that right now. Like, does that keep this on? Oh, it does? Wait, I thought that was for this one. Maybe not. Okay, okay. Never mind. So if I do that, and then I pick this up, then I can go along the side with the item, and then open this. Very good. I think I should connect to that one, right? I'm gonna put this on and that freaking accumulator is blocking it. That's so cursed. Oh my gosh. It was fine. It worked totally fine. Before it was uh, all right. Why do I feel like the accumulator is gonna block it again? Oh, there you go. Never mind. It worked out. Okay, so now that we have that, we need blue. Let's accumulate the blue, storing the blue there, and there you go. So, I mean, you just had to, like, the hardest part of the puzzle was realizing that this connected to this thing, which I almost thought it didn't do, even though I, I saw the interaction. Is a rare blessing. Someone who listens to you, who disagrees, but still appreciates your thoughts. Yes, that, that's so rare in the, the society now. The more this island, the more convinced I become that he was wrong. And the megastructure is a threat to all of us. But without people like him, I'm not sure New Jerusalem is worth saving. Puzzle five. <laughs> Which is not the fifth, but yeah. 
We need two objects to win. Red exists. Uh huh. Let's connect both of them. That's a moving platform that can move things here. Okay, nice alternator that I just made by accident. Oh, okay. You need red for that. So do I just bring this along with me then? Probably. No, don't, don't have enough back. All right, well, here. We have this, that's another connector, so I can use it and then go back. Shut up, you just go back. How, how hard is it to just go back? Fine, we'll put it on the edges, I don't care. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> I'm so you literally can't get it out. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to see if I could do the puzzle without being forced to, you know, do it on the edges, but it seems like that's the idea. I mean, it's very obviously the idea, but yeah. And then you don't need to do the nonsense I did, but I'm just like, I don't understand why. Like, this, I guess this puzzle five is the first lower area and it's therefore easy, but there you go. Hey. Well, we still haven't done the extra puzzles yet. Okay. A perfect silence. Peace in the desert. This is a dead place. More dead than almost anywhere else on Earth. If the ground could have a personality, it would be malevolent. But as I said before, all this in some sense does not exist at all. It does not hate us. It is simply the opposite of everything that life requires. When you sit in the dunes and you hear only the wind and nothing else at all, and all the complexities of civilization fade away, you truly understand that spiritual peace is a great evil, a kind of shallow banality that we must always strive against. It is spiritual excitement and enthusiasm which sustain our humanity. Spiritual peace is a vile and cowardly surrender to oblivion. Don't disagree. Don't live in do-nothing pacifism world, please. Anyway, here we go. Hmm. I got one thing that moves those. Red. Now, red can connect to red, I'm pretty sure. Really? What do you mean? There's a fence? Oh my gosh, the anti-aliasing fence uh, appears again. Hmm. So, do we need that help? I can't even reach it though. Not from here. Well, okay. Let's connect this to this because we, we need it to happen. Let's see if there's like a grab shifter here or something. No? Just a connector? You surely can, surely can make that joke about the fan getting in the way. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, well then... I guess we're supposed to just do this instead. Okay, well, then we're gonna get a grab shifter probably. Yeah, it's, it's in a useless spot, which is as expected, I guess. And we need another red to get this to work. Okay. So it seems like the red might want to be here. Can we make that happen? Probably yes. Okay. Alright, so now we know our little end goal. Except we do also need this to be on, which. That's, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't... I could get behind getting the exit goal, but we need to do both this and, like, the exit goal. And we need to see the exit. Uh-huh. Hmm. Can't even see the exit from here. That's... Unless, unless we're the ones that go in there, which I guess might make sense. Maybe we don't need to care. Maybe we can just like... <sighs> okay. The problem is, I think I can actually get a connector here and move it to the other side, but then how would that gate be opened? I also really don't see one reason this would move. I guess it would move to pick up an object. It's also interesting that it follows it along, I guess. Um, one maybe interesting thing is that this could go and pick it up from flight. I 
right? Which of that grabs it on from that side, so... But it is interesting, because you could do that over here. Then get grabbed over here, which gets this out. So that's pretty good that it gets it out, huh? Uh, where's the... It's right here. I just didn't even see it, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, that does work. So now it's a different laser than I expected to be brought over, which is a good thing. It's gonna stay there. And it's still connected. Okay. Looks like a good idea, doesn't it? Well, there we go. That was good. That, there we go. I think this gets it. We just need to connect to that one and put it back. All right. There it is. Cool. That's not ladders. It's fake ladders. Gosh, imagine doing this without the compass. You just walk around the desert. Oh, you don't see anything here. But then you walk over, up. Oh, there's another puzzle. Ho 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 ho. So much walking. Anyhow, let's go in here. Convolution. That makes something rise. Not very high, but it allows you to access the blue source. That unlocks the red... Okay, so... And that does reach, so we just do that. that unlocks the first step. And we got blue. The blue is the way we finish the puzzle off. Blue unlocks an accumulator there. Alright, so it seems what we have to do... We still need access to red, don't we? I mean, I can do that. Does it even reach? It does! No, it doesn't. Well, it's... Huh. Okay, well, I mean, the, the other option is that this is Blue's job, but... Imagine if we didn't need this accumulator. No, this is really weird though. I we only have two connectors. We definitely need one of them to get to the other side, so what's up? Hmm. What seems like it should be an easy puzzle is just not. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, is, is there a grab that I'm missing? Some sort of gravity wall hiding? Ah, yes, that. What a good angle that is. <laughs> well, let's just try to put blue on top. See if that's anything useful. That doesn't even see it because the pillar's blocked. <laughs> okay, hold on. Like, maybe the platform, like, rotates in some cursed way and that's how you see it. No. No. It goes there. Wait, hold on. But... Okay, this is actually really nice. It allows the... Huh. That's cool. So you do this, and then the accumulator is allowed to exist like that. Like, the accumulator is now the one that's causing that to be on. Wait, but this is gonna cause a... Hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll do this, though. There's going to be a problem, isn't there? When I take this out, there's no source anymore. Hmm. No, I, I, I can do this. Okay. Then I take this, and hopefully then I see the accumulator from there? Okay. That is a good one. That's good. I expected it a little earlier. Like, the... Like, expect that to be shown in an earlier world. The, you can get an accumulator uh, from a distance and then charge it, but... That's cool. Uh, it made a questionable action make sense. Anyway, that's like every puzzle in the world. We only have some freaking orange mana lore to get. My area is so staticky. Let's just do this final bit. Okay, that is immediately going way off to the side. Take a step back. We got another straight line. What the heck? I need to turn this way and then the straight line will work. Yep, there you go. Now they're being annoying with where the sides are, huh? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't take so long. Alright. 
What what stuff will I get now? Right, so it's probably gonna be uh, stinks. Yes. Prometheus was bound for many years, his torment seemingly eternal, until one day Zeus commanded his son, the great hero Heracles, to free the Titan from the rock. Why did Zeus relent? I don't know. I don't actually know these people well enough. Is helping those you love more important than justice? Justice is vague. What if you call it just it's it's a no, but And yet you will. And so will we. Between what is right and what is necessary, there lies a vast abyss. Thanks, Spaghetti Monster. The time of dreams is at hand, creature of Yes, we're gonna unlock the next mega structure friend, thing. You must do as Heracles did. But what will follow, none can see. Welcome to Ice UV. Oh, there's the green laser. And we're gonna go into the well, mega structure again. Consistent. The mega structure is opening again. All right, everyone. Assemble at the VTOL as soon as possible. The big gaping bait is open again. Keep an eye on the energy readings, please. Barely anyone is going to be in a situation where someone they love committed something really horrible to, to for that question of someone you love versus justice. They can make their own decision of like whether their their bad action that was revealed was was too far punished or whatever. Next time we're going to the mega structure. I don't want to miss some lore. I don't you want that to. Know, I don't share Byron's enthusiasm for the mega structure. I don't know if the founder really intended for us to be here, and I certainly don't trust this Prometheus entity. But Byron is one of us, and we don't leave people behind. So we're finding Prometheus and freeing him, whether Pandora likes it or not. Here's how this mission is going to go 1K. It's clear to me that you have some kind of special affinity for this place. And that the entities respond to you more strongly than they do to us. So, once you're inside, I want you to take point. Do whatever you need to free Prometheus, but remember that our prime objective is to save our friend. Melville, I want you to stay at the VTOL and let Yakut and 1K go in. I'm going to stay behind as protocol requires. I don't love the idea of sitting this one out, Byron is my oldest friend, but we're doing this by the book. It looks a lot more gray from this perspective.